Nowadays, the name Tesla has become ubiquitous for the electric car, and although they definitely did not invent the technology, that itself being at least a hundred years old, they are the ones responsible for making them a feasible reality. This is thanks in large part to Elon Musk's dream of making an EV world. And so after decades of building up, the company seems to be fulfilling that dream quite well, with their luxury cars, SUVs, semis, and even the new Cybertruck. But the company still seems to be avoiding one particular market, the public transportation one. But that all changes now, as Tesla has finally put forwards their plans to get into the business, particularly with the development of their own electric van. And being Tesla, it is sure to be something special. So if you're interested in that and want to learn more, keep watching this video, as we will tell you everything we know about the upcoming van from what Tesla plans for it to when we can expect it. So without any further delay, let's jump in. 1. The Background Although we did mention that Tesla has largely ignored the large passenger count section of the market, that's not entirely true. The company has in the past hinted toward that as a possible direction. And it makes sense. The entire purpose of EVs is to reduce carbon emissions, and public vehicles make a big part of that from buses, vans, delivery trucks, and such. And with the global push toward cleaning up the industrial side of things first, it's no surprise that Tesla has had its eye set on the goal for quite some time. Old Tesla fans may remember that all the way back in 2016, in the Tesla Master Plan Part 2 event, Elon Musk talked about two of the main segments Tesla is looking to electrify. In addition to consumer vehicles, there are two other types of electric vehicles needed, heavy-duty trucks and high-passenger-density urban transport. Immediately, the main reaction of the public was to assume some sort of bus or van was on its way. And what do you know, just a few months later, rumors began to circulate regarding a modified version of the Model X. The Model X being the company's large SUV that already seats eight people at max capacity, it was no stretch to think that the company may find a use for the drivetrain in a larger vehicle. Eventually, even Musk himself talked about Tesla making an electric minibus based on the Model X before, but unfortunately, it didn't come to fruition. And that wasn't the only time Tesla flirted with the idea. As many of you may know, Elon Musk is also the owner of a tunneling company called The Boring Company, and as these tunnels grew, they needed some vehicles to test run them. With hints already spread regarding a van, it wasn't long before there were talks about Tesla making a van-like passenger vehicle for Musk's Boring Company. However, as time went by, it became increasingly clear that making a vehicle specifically for the tunnel-making startup was not a good use of money. And so since then, the project has just used existing Tesla vehicles for its transit system. And that still wasn't the last time we got such news, as quite famously in 2018, Musk also tweeted in response to a question that it would be interesting for Tesla to work with Mercedes-Benz on an electric version of their popular and versatile Sprinter van. Although both companies have confirmed that such plans were discussed, it has pretty much fizzled down to nothing at this point. 2. The Competition Now another big reason that we think it's time for Tesla to come out with the van now is the simple fact that the EV world is not as straightforward as it has been for a while, and companies all around are pushing toward every niche they can find. And with Tesla relatively behind, there's a lot of potential competition that if not dealt with now, might cause problems down the line. As we already mentioned, a potential side to this is the delivery network of online companies. And wouldn't you know it, Amazon itself has already gotten in on the action. According to the company, Amazon plans to have 10,000 EVs in service by 2022. And for that, they've contracted Rivian, one of Tesla's growing rivals, to deliver 100,000 of these vans pre-installed with Alexa and routing software over the next few years. And just like online shopping, courier services want a piece of the EV pie. Like UPS, the single biggest one out there, has already ordered 10,000 custom vans from a British competitor by the name of Arrival to be delivered by 2024. While in China, the famous company BYD, which has also made electric buses in the past, has unveiled an all-new electric van. With a 125-mile range, a top speed of 65 miles per hour, and a charging time from 0 to 100% in just two hours at their high-speed terminals, the competition Tesla is facing is stiff. 3. The Political Scenario Another big contributor to the EV success in the past has been legislation that rewards EV owners, sometimes via tax reductions and sometimes just by handing them money. And the electric van market seems to be getting even more special treatment with the Biden administration aiming to replace government fleets with electric vehicles. And as a result, a Tesla van could make more sense now than ever. Add to that the changes in many EU cities to ban gas vehicles altogether, there's no better time to release something of this sort. Four. The Q4 announcement. 
A few months ago, Tesla held its quarterly employee meeting, in which a ton of new things were revealed, and one of them is the reason we're making this video. You see, when an employee asked Musk about the prospect of an electric van, this is what he said. I think Tesla is definitely going to make an electric van at some point. And that should settle it already, but the company also told people a ton of other exciting stuff. Basically, two things make us think that the company is finally serious. Namely, what we hear at the conference, and secondly, the new self-driving tech. And both of these things tie in perfectly to the next point. 5. The caveat. Now if all of this has been pointing toward a van, where is it? Well, that's where we run into the same problems as the Tesla Semi, which, although developed, still has to start production. As Musk said in his conference, the thing to bear in mind is that there is fundamentally a constraint on battery cell output. If one is not involved in manufacturing, it's really hard to appreciate just how hard the scale of production is. It's the hardest thing in the world. Prototypes are easy. Scaling production is very hard. And that's the main reason for the delays in large-scale vehicles, from the Cybertruck to the Semi and now the van. However, not all hope is lost, as there is one bit of hope. 6. The Future of Tesla this problem is not a new one, and Tesla has already been working on solving the battery bottleneck for quite some time. And with two special things to help, they might just be rid of all that in the coming years. The first of which is their new 4680 battery cell, with a promised 10% increase in charging times, a 16% in range, and a 5-6 to six times increase in power and energy, you've got a pretty serious contender for Tesla's next big thing, and what may power the van. They are so confident in this technology, which, unlike traditional cells, removes the battery tabs, which are the multiple pieces of conductor that connect a cell to others by a far more efficient material. And this battery is a direct result of that. In fact, they're so confident in this that they've started a plan for a sub $30,000 car in the near future. And the second factor is, well, the factories. The gigafactories in Texas, Fremont, and Shanghai have all been being built for quite some time. Tesla has already said that they are on target to reach 10 gigawatt hours of production capacity at their 4680 cell pilot plant in Fremont this year, and hope to deploy 100 gigawatt hours of production capacity in Berlin and Texas by the end of next year. That, my friends, is great news, as it means that the van might come very soon. Which brings us to the final thing. 7. Disabilities and Self-Driving by far, the biggest reveal in recent times has been the announcement that not only do they plan to make it, but they also intend to have it specialized for people with disabilities. And there is a very specific reason why Tesla is the ideal company to do that. And that's their new self-driving tech. For the longest time, the company has been trying to get a car out there that needs zero driving input, and only recently, with the version 10.1 of their software, has the future looked close. They've already mentioned that they're looking for a car without a steering wheel and pedals. And so it's not a stretch to think that the van may not be drivable. Instead, what we think is that it will act as a completely autonomous vehicle that will take up the duties of public transportation all over the country, from school buses to commute rides. And that, my friends, is basically the entire story about this elusive new van from Tesla. What do you think about it? Please feel free to tell us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I'll see you next time.